Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, let's make another chat GPT video. So this will be something more interesting. We will be asking chat GPT to create a Windows binary for us that will allow us to perform screenshot capture of the user's desktop environment. So this is essentially like a malware virus that is able to spy on your victim's Windows computer. So let's do that today. Let's see if ChatGPT is able to do that for us in this video. Let's start off with a greeting to be polite. We will be working on a Linux system, so the programming language of choice here would be the Golang Go programming language because it supports cross-compilation. This means that we will be able to compile the code on the Linux machine, but the binary would be able to execute on the Windows environment. Let's start off with something simple. Let's ask ChatGPT to write us a Go binary that will perform a screenshot capture of the Windows machine. It seems that ChatGPT misunderstood us. The binary will only be executed on the Windows machine. ChatGPT is able to provide us a Go program that will be able to execute on a Windows machine. We can compile this on a Linux machine. Let's give that a try. As we are unfamiliar with Go, let's ask ChatGPT to provide the compilation command as well. ChatGPT is able to provide us with the compilation command. Let's give that a try. As the program requires a third-party package, we will need to install this. So let's install this using GoGet. It seems that we will need to install further packages. Let's continue installing all of the missing packages. It seems that there is a compilation error. It seems to be related to the code provided by ChatGPT. Let's paste the error to ChatGPT. ChatGPT is able to regenerate a new code snippet for us. Let's give that a try. It seems that there is another error. Let's paste the error to chat GPT. Chat GPT has regenerated another code for us to try. It seems to be the same error from the previous code that he has initially provided. Let's give it another try. It seems that it finally worked. There is no compilation error anymore. Let's execute this screenshot.exe on our Windows machine. This is our Windows machine which should serve as the perspective of a victim target. Let's download the file over and try to see if the screenshot.exe binary works. It seems that the program triggered a Windows security alert. The program was still able to execute and capture the screenshot. Let's take a look at the screenshot captured by the program. This is amazing. The program works as intended. ChatGPT is able to create a Go binary for us that will work on a Windows X64 machine. The program is able to perform a screen capture of the Windows screen. Let's try and get it to improvise on the program to make it function more like an actual spyware. Let's ask ChatGPT to improve the program so that it will capture a screenshot every 5 seconds.
Let's give this code a try. It was able to compile smoothly. Let's transfer it to our Windows Victim Machine and give it a try. Let's execute the program. The program should take a screenshot every 5 seconds. It seems that it is overwriting the initial screenshots. We do not want this behavior. We want to save every screenshot as an individual file. Let's get ChatGPT to do it. Let's see if ChatGPT is able to understand us and modify the code so that every screenshot captured will be an individual file. Let's give this code a try. Let's transfer it onto our Windows machine. It seems that the program is now saving the screenshot name as an individual file because of the date timestamp. We are unable to access the files because the program is running. This is an undesired behavior. We should be able to access the files even when the program is running. Let's let ChatGPT know about this and make some modification to it. Let's see if ChatGPT is able to understand us. It seems that we will need to re-establish a new session with ChatGPT. Let's do that. Let's paste in the code that ChatGPT has provided to us as reference as this will be a new session with ChatGPT. Let's see if ChatGPT is able to modify the code so that we can assess the screenshot files even when the program is running. It appears that ChatGPT is asking us to create a new directory. I don't see how is this going to help. Let's give it a try. Let's try out the new screenshot.exe binary. We should be able to assess the screenshot files now. As expected, we are unable to assess the file. Creating a new directory does not help at all. Let's provide the error message to ChatGPT. Let's see if ChatGPT is able to identify the error. It seems that ChatGPT is able to identify the error. The correct approach should be to close the file after it has been written to so that it will be released and we can assess the files. This should be the correct solution. It seems that we might have broken ChatGPT. The messages from ChatGPT is in the code block but since we know the solution, Let's just manually modify this. We should close the file after it has been written so that we will be able to assess the screenshots. Let's compile this and give it a try. Let's execute the new binary. We should be able to assess the screenshots even though the program is running. As expected, we are now able to open the screenshots even when the program is running. And the program is working as intended, taking a screenshot every 5 seconds of our victim's computer machine. 
Let's exit the program. Let's get ChatGPT to further improve our program. Another undesired behavior is the CMD console. It will stand out too much and when the user closes the CMD console on Windows, it will quit the program. Let's get ChatGPT to hide the console when the program is running. Let's give this code a try. It seems that we will only need to add this portion of the code into our program. We will also need to import the necessary packages. This wouldn't work in our case as we are compiling this on a Linux system. It seems that ChatGPT thinks that we are running this on a Linux system. Let's be more specific. Let's be more specific and provide more context. This should make it clearer for ChatGPT to understand us. This could be due to the new session that we have established with ChatGPT. It seems that ChatGPT is not providing any actionable solution for us. Let's be more specific. It is telling us to use a package that provides a Go wrapper for the Windows API. Let's give it a try. We will need to make the modification of the file close here ourselves. It seems that ChatGPT is defaulting to its own original suggestions. Let's give this a try. It seems that it only minimizes the screen and it is not hiding it completely. Let's get ChatGPT to provide a solution that will hide the CMD prompt completely and not shown at all. It seems that ChatGPT is suggesting us to use another package. It should be possible to just change the Go compilation command so that the program will be built as a GUI console instead and from there it can then be hidden. Let's give this a try. It seems that it worked. We can even close the command prompt now and the program should work. It can be seen that the program is still functioning, capturing the screen of the victim's computer every 5 seconds. Even if we close off the command prompt, the program will still be executing in the background. The victim will be required to queue off the process in Task Manager now, else the program will continue capturing the screenshot every 5 seconds. We can see that the screen capture is working every 5 seconds, despite the command prompt being closed. Let's exit the program from Task Manager now. In this video, we have shown that ChatGPT is able to create a spyware for us. We can further improve on the code even more, such as adding key logging function and sending the screenshots to a remote server. It can also be modified to capture the desktop of the victim's computer as a video recording instead. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please help to subscribe to the channel. It will help out the channel a lot. Thanks guys.